Next week, Las Vegas, then Grand Prairie, Texas. And then we go on to the True Value, Peoria and St. Louis, my hometown for the Budweiser Tournament, the next four weeks. Parker Bone not thinking about that. He's thinking of the next five frames in front of him. Mm -hmm. Carry. Comes right back. He had games of 228, 236, and 268, this man. Key shot here, Chris. He came off that big string, and he kind of was a little bit worried about the type of shot that he threw on 37 last frame. Let's see if he just puts that behind. A confident Ron Williams. That's that AC Delco check for 42000 in his back pocket. Didn't see him smile like that at all when he comes back. He usually has a big smile That's on better. his face. Of course, bowling, as he's bowling, uh, will make you smile, all right. And his opponent's struggling a little bit right here. Yeah. Remember, uh, 42 last week. This man, 24,000 a day. The previous game, winning the Phoenix Open in our new format. Now, our first King of the Hill challenge match. Must spare for Parker Bone. He'll be at a 211 pace and has to string some strikes in his high scoring environment. Remember, Parker has already bowled three games. It looks tired. Just see how hard he hit that seat? And a little disappointed. He went through three very tough opponents Traver, Monticelli, and Williams. Perry. Yeah. All three of uh, Ron's victories came around his birthday, including the one last week. One of them came on Bonnie's birthday, so. Paul Barkley, regional partner, manager of Fair Lanes. 22 years we've associated with Fair Lanes. Sponsoring tournaments both in Phoenix and Baltimore. Now Ron Williams can extend his lead to 38 pins if he strikes here in the eighth. No, hold it, hold it. He's probably wondering how he did so poorly in the tournament, Chris. I think he's found something. He said earlier he had. I heard him uh, tell, I think it was Dave Ferraro, that he had discovered something. Found a secret. Maybe a little more loft and a little less hook. Ten pen for Parker Bone. If you just join us, three great, great games by this professional. 228 victory over David Travers, 196. Walter Ray Williams Jr. had a 196 to Parker's 236. Then in the last match where he won the Phoenix Open title, 268. And Leto Monicelli, 257. Parker Bone comes up here in the ninth frame. If he does not strike, he is a gone goose. No chance. And uh, $5,000 to the winner only. And another chance in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Bone stays alive. He has a potential 230. That strike forces Ron Williams to mark here in the ninth and tenth frames for a strike here in the ninth. This would lock it up. Get up, baby. Yeah! All right. Remember, he waited for Parker Bone to win three games in the Phoenix Open Championship. Off to the right. Comes in here like gangbusters. Good point, Chris. And another good point is our tournament leader has won eight consecutive tournaments. However, Parker Bone dethroned Monticelli in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. But in the final match, once again, the man on top coming in has prevailed. Good enough. Potential 258. That's plenty. There's the handshake. The low five. And it's a high five thousand dollars that is for Ron Williams and you'll see him in Las Vegas next week in the final game so the television history here becoming the first 
<laughs> ABC Television Professional Bowlers Tour, King of the Hill. He was a challenger coming in there, earned it by winning the AC Delco, and this man earned the right to try and win by winning the Phoenix Open for the big 268. All right, the king of the hill is Ron Williams. The Phoenix Open champion is Parker Bone.